So I'm getting a little desperate for some comedy. And so I thought I would just um, do an at-home quarantine canned uh, comedy skit here. So I've been going through some withdrawals. And, um, you know, I'm getting a little desperate. So um, I, I really need some laughter. Can you just please laugh? Thank you. Um, so in the quarantine lockdown, um, I have been um, really thinking about all of the guilt I've had because I was raised to be guilty for everything. And um, I want to apologize for the coronavirus because I kind of feel like somehow it was my fault. I think it was because of my vote. I voted in 2016 I put a YouTube video up called Mad Voters Guide to, to 2016, and it showed my vote for the Antichrist. I figured it was a two-for-one vote. I kind of thought it was clever, but I didn't mean to start a plague, and I'm really sorry about all the fires in California. Um, I feel guilty about those, too, because I was having a really bad... Um, season. I have to be careful with my anger because I think that um, I could probably um, scare the Pope. Um, I, I was raised to be anti-Catholic and I have assassination plans for the Pope. And for Putin. And Jong. And Trump. It, it kind of sort of involves Dennis Rodman and Madonna, and I kind of strip them all down naked, and I throw them in bed together along with Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson and the woman on drugs who attacked me and pounded my head into the pavement. I could just throw Milani in there too and just leave him in that room. I could put some padded walls around there and just a nice big bed in the middle. And then just, you know, whoever comes out alive wins. So it's really hard being me <clears throat> because I'm actually a mother and um, I have eight children. So I'm very much a pacifist. I don't like war. But I'm so angry, I can imagine, I can out evil Hitler and um, Stephen King. <sighs> but I'm more like a homicidal pacifist, because I'm so extreme that for every suicidal thought I have, I have a homicidal thought, and I just like have these thoughts. <laughs> okay, let me finish the joke. But I just, you know, these vacillating thoughts. And then in the middle, I just kind of like stay calm and I light some incense and I put on some Cat Stevens and I listen to some music, like 80s music, like Prince. This is how it sounds like when the doves cry. Um, some of my assassination plans involve resurrecting Prince. I could be considered a domestic terrorist. Uh, not that I really am into like blowing anyone up or anything, but I did once terrorize 40,000 U of O ducks at Autzen Stadium dressed in a chicken outfit, dancing to the thriller. It ended up on national television. <laughs> <laughs> I just get myself into these situations. I don't know exactly how it happens. I'm almost more like, you know, Forrest Gump or something.